So I've been feeling sappy lately, and I really had a craving to go through my favorite books. And if you don't know, I typically annotate my books. I usually, as I come across a line that is really impactful to me, I'll underline it or write notes next to it. And uh, I have spent a few hours pouring over my favorite books, flipping through the pages, and remembering some of the passages that have hit me the hardest. Would it be easier if I actually kept a notebook of my favorite quotes like I've been saying that I would start doing for years? Yes, didn't do it. But that's okay, this was fun. So what I've done is I've gone through a lot of my favorite stories, pulled out some quotes that have just really hit me hard. I also went to my Discord on my Patreon and I asked my patrons if they wanted to participate too, if they wanted to uh, offer up some of their favorite quotes for this video too. So basically what we're doing in this video is appreciating stories and appreciating how impactful they can be in our lives and how much meaning what they hold has for us. So this is a compilation of some of my favorite quotes, some of my patrons' favorite quotes, just some quotes that have moved some people. So, quotes. But before we get into the quotes, a shout out to today's sponsor, Remarkable. So Remarkable is a cloud-based note-taking system. It's designed for writing, reading, sketching, and has no social media, email, or anything like that, so it's distraction-free. It has a bunch of different templates, so I have a lot of freedom in what kind of notes I need to be taking. I can create to-do lists, calendars for my video uploads, take notes, use it as a journal. Basically, it has so much functionality in a paper-free way. I can also convert anything that I write on here into a PDF, send it straight to my phone, to my email, share it with other people, which adds a lot of flexibility for me as Corey works with me on this channel and being able to send notes, video notes, or you know, instructions for putting a video together, being able to just convert that to a PDF and send it directly to him is great. You can also keep eBooks on here. Again, it's paper white, so there's no backlight and I can take notes with my Remarkable pen directly on the book, underline things, highlight, and if there's things that I wanna make sure to include in a video, I can just hop back over to my note-taking section and have a section specifically for that book. It's also really easy to just hop back and forth between documents, organize them, create layers so that I can just continue to add to what I'm doing. Really, it's just been an amazing tool to keep my life more organized. So definitely check out Remarkable 2. I've found it very useful and I will have a link in the description for you to check it out. And now some quotes that me and my friends have loved. All children, except one, grow up. They're tough and they're proud. They make mistakes and have faults, but all the best things I know about being a man are the things I've learned from them. And they became different men when you arrived. Better men. We all did. I hope you won't be angry at me for still trying to impress you. You and your mother are my greatest, most wonderful, scariest adventure. I'm amazed every day that you're still letting me follow along. The boy steals too much. If he had a bloody gash across his throat and a physiker was trying to sew him up, Lamora would steal the needle and thread and die laughing. What if I meet people who don't like me or the things I do? You must walk your own path. Better to lose them than to lose yourself. Do bad thoughts make me a bad person? Tiny Dragon asked. No, said Big Panda. The waves are not the ocean. The thoughts are not the mind. Grown-ups don't look like grown-ups on the inside either. Outside, they're big and thoughtless, and they always know what they're doing. Inside, they look just like they always have, like they did when they were your age. Truth is, there aren't any grown-ups, not one in the whole wide world. Adults follow paths, children explore. Adults are content to walk the same way hundreds of times or thousands. Perhaps it never occurs to adults to step off the paths, to creep beneath rhododendrons, to find the spaces between fences. I was a child, which meant that I knew a dozen different ways of getting out of our property and into the lane, ways that would not involve walking down our drive. My yesterdays are disappearing, and my tomorrows are uncertain. So what do I live for? I live for each day. I live in the moment. Some tomorrow soon. I'll forget that I stood before you and gave the speech. 
but just because I'll forget it some tomorrow doesn't mean I didn't live every second of it today. I will forget today, but that doesn't mean that today doesn't matter. Knowledge is power, but it is a terrible power when it's hoarded and hidden. Do you have any other advice? Asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. It may be hard right now, but you must silence those thoughts. Stop counting only those things that you have lost. What is gone is gone. You can't get back what you've lost. What's important now is what it is that you still have. Isn't it splendid to think of all the things there are to find out about? It just makes me feel glad to be alive. It's such an interesting world. It wouldn't be half so interesting if we knew all about everything, would it? There'd be no scope for imagination then, would there? People said Ove saw the world in black and white, but she was color, all the color he had. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Kindness is not a crime, but sometimes it awakens and weakens the greed in others. What do these children do without storybooks? They have to make do. Storybooks aren't bread. You can live without them. I couldn't live without them. The truth, however ugly in itself, is always curious and beautiful to seekers after it. Once you've got a task to do, it's better to do it than to live with the fear of it. When something is broken, you can put it back together. It may not fit quite the same or work like it did once before, but that doesn't mean it's no longer useful. It's the little things, I expect. Little treasures we find without knowing their origin, and they come when we least expect them. It's beautiful when you think about it. Home is where you feel like yourself. Everybody thinks they're the exception to the rule, and that's exactly where the trouble starts. One person can do a lot of damage. There's an old saying about asking forgiveness rather than permission, Ethan said, but the essence of it is, I'm going to do whatever I want. When do you think people die? When they are shot through the heart by a bullet of a pistol? No. When they are ravaged by an incurable disease? No. When they drink a soup made from a poisonous mushroom? No. It is when they are forgotten. Fools who don't respect the past are doomed to repeat it. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. I do love secondhand books that open to the page some previous owner read oftenest. You mostly failed. This is life. The longer you live, the more you fail. Failure is the mark of a life well lived. In turn, the only way to live without failure is to be of no use to anyone. Ford, he said, you're turning into a penguin. Stop it. What's the use of fighting futile fights? Do you really intend to lose more of your friends for something like that? I'll pass on that. As long as I'm alive, I'll live by my own rules. I'll live how I see beautiful and protect those I hold dear. Belief isn't simply a thing for fair times and bright days. What is belief? What is faith? If you don't continue in it after failure, anyone can believe in someone or something that always succeeds. But failure, ah, now, that is hard to believe in, certainly and truly, difficult enough to have value. Sometimes we just have to wait long enough. Then we find out what exactly it is that we kept believing. No one is born into this world to be alone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed just a quick video of appreciating stories and what they mean to us. And if you have some quotes that have been really meaningful to you as well, I would love it if you wanted to post some of your favorite quotes, some of the quotes that have hit you hard, the hardest and meant the most to you in the comments as well. We'll just make this a day of appreciation for stories. But please do keep this up in the comments. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, and now I have a vlog channel, which will be linked down in the description, where I post every Thursday. So check that out if you like. I'll see you again soon. Bye.